When I think of NASA, I think of an agency focused on technology at the cutting edge. Instead of telling people the specific idea that they need to work on, what we're going to do is set grand challenges for our technological pace. What we're going to be looking for are visions of the future. The first stage is called early stage innovation. It's a new idea. How do we assess how practical it is, how feasible it is, how NASA can use it, who can use it? We have a funnel and many concepts come in from many directions. They have to get a chance. There has to be some vetting. A few will actually turn out to be worthy of further study. Further study usually involves more effort and more expense, so we can't do it for all of them. But this is the initial gate where we try to give those ideas a chance, and we hope one of them is going to change the world. The next stage is game-changing technologies. A game-changing technology has the ability to change a customer's expectation in a profound way. Many ideas die because it's very expensive to transition from a small-scale laboratory to a large-scale mission. Typically in NASA, we've provided a solution. In the game-changing program, we're going to actually provide a capability that we need, uh, leaving it open to innovation and high-risk technologies to be proposed rather than, uh, than the classic way that NASA has done it. And once that high-risk technology has been proven out, then it's more readily acceptable to a mission. Once the technology crosses the game-changing um, hurdle, uh, it would be brought into cross-cutting capabilities demonstration to be demonstrated in relevant environment. We also want to think outside the box where we're doing things in a more streamlined and efficient manner, like testing it on an aircraft or a suborbital platform like a sounding rocket, or even on the ground here, a test chamber or a lab. And uh, NASA needs to be able to collaborate by getting the uh, expertise that exists at various NASA centers, industry, academia, other government agencies. We could actually try to broaden uh, from a low uh, maturity level to a mid-maturity level to a high maturity level and look at multiple partners and, and uh, customers that would be interested in this technology. We're not developing technology just to play in our sandbox. We're developing technological solutions to real problems. For the United States to position itself as a leader in the future, we have to lead through technology. These are grand challenges for the agency. These are grand challenges that will engage the nation. This is what NASA was built for. And these are the things that we can do through technology investment.